I started the festival about six years ago. My father used to give concerts here in the house and he gave his last concert when he was 90 years old. It was such a wonderful event, this elderly gentleman sharing with young musicians who accompanied him at the end of his life. And when he passed away suddenly the following year, I decided I would share what he had brought me in our private home into the public domain. interests me is to get people out of their comfort zone and to get them out of their comfort zone you have to get them to do something new something different that they haven't done before and in bringing these these different worlds together you're getting them to collaborate to communicate with artists that they would normally never meet and then by definition it's something new What, what Philippe Jarouski and Gauthier did for us is they made special arrangements of the Melodie Francaise for voice and cello. Because there are not many Melodie Francaise that are written for cello. Each year we invite young talent to play in the church at the festival and this is something that we've built up over the, the last years and it has become really part of, of the festival. We have the what I would call the star system and so we were looking for an idea to, to allow them to develop with us and so therefore they play one year in the church and the following year we thought well we'll give them the opportunity to play with orchestra. C'était une magnifique expérience parce que c'est un orchestre qui est jeune, parce qu'on n'a pas l'occasion de jouer beaucoup, mais c'est un orchestre d'amis, c'est ce que je, je, je dis à tout le monde, c'est un, un orchestre très particulier parce que c'est vraiment une amicale avec que des solistes et des instrumentistes exceptionnels. Iskandar uh, Bijaja, who played with us last year. He was, he's a fantastic violinist and also a fantastic uh, personality. He met here the pianist Mauro Loconte, and they had such a good time last year playing together, so that we decided that uh, we would let them continue together in this uh, Ravel evening. <laughs> La première année, c'est on a joué le concert Jeune Talent, donc c'était on jouait avec trois, deux autres musiciens et on était tous ensemble. Et maintenant, c'est avec orchestre, donc c'est déjà un, un, un peu plus. Ça monte, euh, un peu plus non, c'est génial. Donc ouais. c'est super. Je trouve qu'il donne la possibilité à des jeunes artistes justement de les réinviter une fois, de les inviter une fois et après de, de, de pouvoir les réinviter avec orchestre, parce qu'on n'a pas tous les jours l'occasion de jouer avec orchestre. Donc c'est génial, je trouve, de donner la possibilité à des jeunes comme ça. C'est une atmosphère très particulière, c'est très détendu, on est, on est tous entre nous, on rencontre des musiciens, c'est très familial comme atmosphère. On se retrouve tout le temps, on mange ensemble, après à midi, c'est l'occasion aussi, on peut rencontrer plein de musiciens, c'est très important. Surtout dans le monde de, de pianiste, on est tout le temps tout seul. Vous voyez, c'est pas les musiciens d'orchestre, ils ont plus l'accès à d'autres musiciens. Nous, on travaille seul, alors c'est important, ces, ces festivals l'été, de, de pouvoir rencontrer des autres gens, des autres horizons et de partager des, des, des expériences communes, c'est très important. I'm very
very much assisted in, in the festival by, by Michel Dami. And Michel Dami's big passion is discovering the, these young talents. Very interesting, actually, at the beginning to, to, to work with uh, young people uh, that I don't know, that I haven't worked with. So it's uh, always uh, yeah, a little uh, of uh, adaptation at the beginning, and, uh, which is very interesting. So after that, it's uh, yeah, a collaboration, and uh, everybody uh, tells his idea. For me, it's génial because, en fait, fact, déjà j'avais joué qu'une fois avec euh, une chanteuse et donc euh, c'est la première fois que je joue avec un chanteur et en plus on joue la pièce euh, de Jean Célim donc euh, c'est une très belle expérience en plus le compositeur est là donc il peut être très exigeant <rire> thing it's the the how do you simplicity the simplicity it's so cool and so so calm this is really really great because they have a wonderful artist and it's not really like a big festival like uh, and uh, the the ambiance is really really so so accessible for everyone and this is amazing because sometimes you have like some festival when you are afraid to meet people and there's not really connection it's it's just a big name and here you really have the the humanity and the social interaction between people what i work very hard at is creating a very sort of easygoing, friendly, family type atmosphere around the festival. And then the great thing is, is that you do get these encounters between stars and young people. Especially the, the first evening when it was in the Cavo, they didn't dare. They, they were all like sitting there and nobody dared get up and, and Giles was pushing them, yeah, yeah, go play, go play. And everybody was a little afraid to play with Nigel Kennedy being there, you know, so, so nobody. So eventually they did start to play and then of course Nigel said, oh, God, this is music, I got to play too. And then he got on and that was really for me a, a, a big satisfaction, yeah. Well, I hope we can all learn from each other, you know? It's like um, the energy and like the enjoyment that the young fuckers had last night or like and what they're giving to their music. That's the dedication they're going to need for the future. It means music's in good hands for future generations. We thought then we would give Vlad a carte blanche. And, and Vlad is, he's also a composer and he's a wonderful violinist. And he lives in London and he plays with other musicians there. So we said, Vlad, well, why don't you bring your friends to Saint Pré to do the, the final concert? And they're all very talented musicians in their own right. So we were really glad to discover and be introduced to these musicians via Vlad.
I think the big change that we had this year was that we were able to get together artists that to everybody it was obvious they came from different worlds. We got a Nigel Kennedy together with Etoile of the Paris Opera. I mean, you don't have to explain that. So something that has existed within the festival for the last five years, this year we were able to make it instantaneously obvious. <laughs> Nigel told me that he has uh, lots of uh, improvisation moments. So the deal for us um, dancers was to craft a choreography and then in the middle of that, as they do musicians, you know, they watch themselves and then this is the moment where they change, this is the moment where um, they continue bars because they feel the audience and it's, so we're going to try to play with them like this. That's oh, fantastic. Cool. That's, that's, that's cool. very cool. I don't know. I don't know. You will see. You will see. For me, the biggest highlight is after every concert to see how happy the artists and the audience are. I think for me, that is the moment of fulfillment when, yeah, it's worked. And everybody's happy. And everybody comes out of it on a high. And, and that for me is, is the, the best moment.